Thanks to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. More from them in a bit. Oh boy, it's a big day. We've been waiting a long time. These guys have been waiting a long time to get into a bigger space. She is noticing there's something else in her yard. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, She's coming over in a hurry. All day. Now I had no idea that a horse would try to bite an emu. Bamboo, how you doing buddy? Bamboo and the blonde girls. Here's Cashew and Peekaboo. We hatched them out four, almost five years ago. We had them at our old property. We had them in a, a decent sized yard and we'd run around it when they were little and then they got big. We moved to this property and they've been in this space that's about oh, maybe a half an acre. And initially it was all together but then the females started fighting and so we had to divide it. And now it's divided out into three areas. And so they can't run around and enjoy the space to its fullest, but at least we know they're safe. And then they have little shelters where they're able to go in and lay their eggs. So it's worked for what we've been able to do for them, but we've always wanted to give them a bigger space. And that bigger space we just created for our horse holiday. We've got a huge five acre paddock that we put a horse barn in. And along the way of building this, we thought, Wow, if we do this right, we do nice solid fencing. I think we can move the emus in here. As long as our horse holiday and the emus get along, I think it'll work. We've got a lot of things going for us here. We've got a stall or two in the horse barn if we need to, but we're thinking about building them a shelter in here, but we wanna make sure that it'll work out before we do that. And so right now, Becky and I are working on a little tunnel to be able to walk two of the emus in right from their area right there, walk them right down over here. So we've got some T-posts in, we're gonna put some cattle panels up and then we're gonna walk them in. So let's finish putting these panels up and then we'll show you who's gonna move over into the horse paddock. Okay, so the plan is we've got this gate right here. We're gonna open that up here in just a minute. And then we've got this tunnel that we've created right here. We're lucky that this is so close to this. I would love to say that it was planned this way. Did we plan it this way, Becky? Did we plan the horse yard to be this no, close to the evening yard? No, it just happened that this works out perfect. And so this is great that we can open this door right here Pull it most of the way open. It should come right to about here. Walk the two emus that are in this area right here. Walk them right down this tunnel into the horse pad. Now, if we didn't have this right here and we had them somewhere else on the property, we were talking about doing like four walls with wheels or something like that and moving them. The way we had to do it when we got Bert and Ernie from Colorado, we had to put pillowcases on their head and then we had to walk them towards the animal trailer and then load them up. And sometimes I even had to grab their legs, which was really difficult. So if I had to do it very, very far, it just, it wouldn't work out. Oh, I got a lot more grass for you if that's what you want. So we've got Bert, our white male emu, and we've got Peekaboo right here, our blonde female. And Peekaboo laid all our eggs this last spring in like February, March, April. And so we want to move her in there and we want to make sure that she stays safe and also eventually give her a shelter, something she can go in and continue to lay eggs this year. Hopefully they'll be fertile this time. One, what do you think of the idea of moving the emus in the horse yard and do you think it's going to work? I hope it's going to work. It makes me a little nervous. But um, it's worth a try. Think we can get them out of there if it doesn't work out? I don't know. That's the problem. If it doesn't work out, it's going to be very hard to get them back in here, I think. But. So this week is a little bit of an experiment. If this works, if we're able to move them in, if they're able to get along with Holiday, then we can start to move in one, maybe some more emus as well. We've got Ernie over here with Cashew. Ernie's our other white male emu. Cashew's our other blonde female, and then we've got Bamboo. And so we might keep Bamboo, we just, we really don't want to risk, of all the emus, we don't want to risk losing Bamboo because he was our, our first emu and we're really attached to him. If something were to happen, we don't think coyotes or some other kind of predator would come in and mess with them. If they do, I'm hoping the emus will defend themselves. They should, but we really want to know that everything is good and safe and will work out before we ever move Bamboo in there. All right, we're gonna open this door and then we're gonna pull all the way to here, okay? Here comes the first emu. This is what I do. All the way open. Yeah. There you go, right there. All right, here we go. So Bert we got in Colorado. So he's been up in the mountains and he's been here for about a year, maybe nine months. And then Peekaboo we've had in this area for the past four years. I'm excited to see him in this big open area, see if they'll run around with us. Which one are we calling this one? Bert. Hi, Bert. Hey, Bert. Whichever one I'm dealing with, I call Bert. All right, so Bert moved in pretty easily. We might walk back here though, so I'm gonna have to get Peekaboo going. She turned around when we 
started. She's never been in another area since she was little, so I have to see if we can move her in and get her comfortable in a new space. Here are the drumming. It's what the females do, where they've got the air sac. Oh, look back here. This one's peekaboo. All right, what's Holiday doing? She is noticing there's something else in her yard. <laughs> Whoa, she's coming over in a hurry. Ooh. Hey, Holiday. What do you think? So this has been a little wild so far. We're, Holiday's been chasing around. She's trying to bite him. Holiday. Holiday, no, no. All right, now she's calmed down. She's against the fence, but wow, that was wild. A little stressful, hoping that they'll work out here and there's Bert, and here's Holiday falling right behind. Hey, hey, calm down. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's amazing to see emus and horses run together. I knew emus were fast when we would run with them, and they would sprint away at around 30 miles per hour. But to see Holiday just trotting and staying within reach of Peekaboo, Horses will trot at that speed and sprint closer to 45 miles per hour. Just amazing how fast horses are without even trying. You don't think she would do this with just another horse too? I think she'd be protective of her area to with anything. So down here at the very bottom, Peekaboo is trying to find a way through the fence and someone said, too bad you didn't make the fence tall enough or you could put the emus in it. I don't think they realize how tall this fence is. Come on, peekaboo. Peekaboo, peekaboo, calm down, calm down. So this didn't go as planned, obviously, but I had to do it over again. We put the horse away in the stall so the emus could move in and we could try them on like either side of the fence first. Instead of having them meet out in the pasture, I didn't know it was going to be like this. But I, my thought is if you bring another horse in, I think they're going to do something similar. Because I think she's going to chase after anything. Because this is her, this is her space, this is her domain. So my goal here is to, let's go get Holiday and put her in. And then hopefully we can let the emus have a, some peaceful time in here. Right now we got a rope here and that keeps her in. My plan was to build a gate. I've got one more gate to put in. And so that way I can close the gate, have her here in the dry lot and then in our stall and then have the emus out in the open pasture. Well, that didn't go as planned. But that's how she would react, I think, to a new horse. Yeah. Runs and tries to bite them. That's her communication. So could be, could be friendly. That's her communication. Hoping so. They're all sweaty though. Quite sweaty. She's going up here, and this is where the all the chickens are. There's the chicken coop. So she hasn't been able to see this part of the farm ever. She's been completely covered over there. So she's going to have quite an adventure today seeing what the rest of the farm looks like. What do you think, huh? Seeing the turkeys? We got chickens over here and some turkeys. All the farm animals, bud. All the farm animals, peekaboo.
So we wanted to just like let them get used to each other. So we thought we would put them in for a night and let them out maybe tomorrow and see how that, get them used to each other. I got it locked. We're all back to normal. Just like you guys, you will not believe what I just did. So one of the most fun things we get to do as a family is open our KiwiCo crates. We've done some KiwiCo projects before. Let's see, wow, they sent us a ton of stuff. Let's see what we've got here, boys and girls. You want one? It's Panda Crate, and it's for 25 to 30 months. Oh, that's for Bella. So we got a Tinker Crate, and then it's for ages nine plus. So that's probably for Eli. I got the Kiwi Crate for five plus. Koala Crate for three ages. <laughs> no, you've got the Koala Crate, and it's for ages three plus, which is you. We homeschool our kids, so anything with STEM, or extra projects are always good for our homeschool curriculum. KiwiCo makes learning fun for kids. Our boys and Bella are so excited to dive into their new crates. Cool. And that's Bella's over here. So it's teaching colors. So blue plus red makes purple. Red plus yellow makes orange. KiwiCo provides a monthly crate delivered to your door with fun, hands-on projects that are designed by experts and tested by kids. With nine different lines, there's something for every interest and age, even newborn babies. What's the bird sound like? <laughs> Just need single crates or not ready to subscribe? KiwiCo offers a variety of individual crates at the KiwiCo store, from robots to baby bird outfits. You'll find something exciting for every kid. And then the last thing we have is Bella's little wooden playset here. It's gonna teach her how to stack and keep balance. Oh man, you did such a good job. Did you have fun? Yes. Eli, show me your robot. My robot can walk backwards and frontwards. And then you made your you did your capillary action with your flowers and your balancing tree. Yep. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Well, Mom, what do you think of all these uh, KiwiCo crates? They're great. They entertain the kids for a while and they're learning stuff at the same time. So if you want to try it for yourself and you want to help support our channel, just click the link in the description and use the code White House and you'll get 50% off your first month. Got to, they get to fighting or flopping around and must have been pretty easy fix up. Got a nice sink here now in the horse barn. Got water to come down and clean the stalls in here. But the big thing I need to do today, we want to get a gate right here so we can test out the emus again. Bring them out to the big pasture but keep the horse, keep Holiday inside here and not have her try to push through or jump over these ropes that we have a solid gate instead. Did you go with this, to the store with me to buy all these parts? Yes. What else did you get at the store? Did they give you food? Popcorn. They gave you popcorn at the hardware store. Woo. So normally I'd have a latch right here, but I'm waiting on that to come in the mail. So we'll get that on the next week. So for now, we're just gonna tie it to this post. All right, round two. What are we gonna do different? We put the horse in her dry lot so that she is not chasing those emus around, trying to bite them. So we're gonna guide them in today. We've got three of them. We've got Bert, Ernie, and Peekaboo. So we'll guide them in. I think they'll be more calm in here, not going as crazy with the horse chasing them around. And then how are we gonna introduce them to each other? And then I'll get the horse on the halter and introduce the, ho the horse to the emus and see if that works better. So we've got an idea since we have holiday separated we're gonna try all the emus here we haven't had the two females we haven't had them together so we're gonna try them out in that pasture we're gonna try bamboo out there and then we can just put them back in tonight but see how they all do together out in the yard bamboo's been by himself for a while because he was harassing cashews so all right buddy hey, bamboo Bamboo, come on. Okay, we gotta get them out to the big yard. Somebody come. 
We gotta get them out into the big yard. They're gonna start chasing each other in this little yard. It almost, one's out. No, come back. Come on, Bamboo. Come on. Guys, come on. Yeah. Okay, I got peek wheel out there right now. One coming. Okay, we got three in. There's Bamboo. There he goes. All right, Ernie here. <laughs> All right, four out of five. All right, everybody's out but you. All right, everybody's out but Peekaboo. Let's get her in. But eventually, we got all five views out into the horse pasture. Finally. Hi, Bamboo. in this corner here she wants to be by herself she was hard to get out she did not want to leave her pen she kind of has son of mud attitude anyways so i'm not too surprised bert and ernie right here they're kind of getting they feel a little more comfortable out here um and then we got bamboo and peekaboo down in the corner and they were together last winter when she was laying eggs so Maybe they're more comfortable together. But she got stuck in that corner last time, yesterday. So I'm a little nervous that they're down in that corner. For some reason, they like that, that spot. They feel pretty comfortable. I mean, the boys, they got together and they were fighting and stuff, but there's a lot of space here. Let's just not get the horse out right now. Okay. <laughs> that was a little crazy. You think we can introduce the horse to him tomorrow? Yeah, I think that'd be great. Okay. I don't know if all of them, I don't know. Maybe one at a time. You can have some pretty good races out here with the emus. Yeah. Think you could keep up with them? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe if you're on the horse. Maybe. Yeah, have we ever gotten to ride the horse going that fast? Oh, no. No. I don't know if I want to yet. That's a little scary. Bella, where's the horse at? Uh, right there? Where's yeah. the emus at? That's right. <laughs> where's Joey? That's right. Bamboo. So it's nighttime out here with Holiday, and I was just coming out to bring her a little bit of hay, but Bamboo came over to see what we were up to. He's very curious. I don't have any of the other emus that have come over here, probably because I was here, not necessarily the horse, but we'd love for the emus to get really comfortable with Holiday so they could all come in and out from out in the pasture into the dry lot, and then we could even move them into the stall sometime in the winter if we need to but we'll definitely get them a shelter if, if this can work out this week. They're all just circling, exploring, but they're all spread out, which is really interesting. And it was cool to see Bamboo hanging out with Peekaboo, who have, they haven't been together since winter. And I wasn't sure if they would hang out and they hung out where Bert and Ernie have been with her for months and they immediately split. So there's not as much of a connection there as there is with Peekaboo and Bamboo. So they made it through their first night. Yeah, I was a little nervous. They all slept separated. The two boys, two white boys, slept right next to each other. And one of them was over there in the tall grass. Another one was in the very far corner. And then Bamboo slept by himself in this corner right by the fence. And it made me really nervous. Want to make sure he doesn't get got by anything. And he slept all by himself, right by on the fence line. And just made me very nervous. So now we got to figure out a way to feed them out there. They're all lined up, I think, wanting to eat. I was planning this week on building a little covered feed trough 
for them, but we really wanted to build a shelter out here for them to go in at night and be able to put their feet in there to protect it from the weather. So I think we'll just make something pretty quick and easy. So four out of the five emus have come over in this area since we're hanging out here with Holiday. So it'll make it pretty easy to introduce her to them the proper way. If this all works out, we probably don't have to build a shelter. We have plenty of stalls. We could just open up a couple stalls for the emus and for Holiday. Yeah, so we have four stalls available. We're gonna get more horses, but we always planned on having at least one available for the emus. So they could go in there and get out of the rain or snow. We can get them used to each other and then to go into one of the stalls. This might work out great. Well, what do you think we should do here? Uh, we thought we'd try letting her off the lead rope. She is more interested in eating than the emus right now. Not like the other day when she was chasing him around. But even when she's been close to him? Yeah. She'll keep an eye on him. But she's not too concerned with him. So we're going to try to let her off and see if this, this is going to be okay. I'm going to leave her head collar on just in case we need to catch her again. But I think it might be okay. So far it's been good today. So I think we're going to just let them go. We'll keep an eye on them for sure. We don't want them to try anything that's gonna harm either one of them so but I think it's going pretty good so far they're getting along bamboos right there holidays is interested in eating it might be a good thing so what about that hilarious thumbnail with bamboo and holiday well bamboo was busy pulling Becky's hair and watching holiday as she got closer and holiday well, she really loves apples, and she has a funny way of letting us know she wants more. Oh, Holiday, you crack us up. 